Chatbots are one of the most popular applications when it comes to artificial intelligence these days. In this video, I am going to show you how easy and quick it is to build a basic chatbot by using Hugging Face. And we will be building and installing and running it on our local system. You can use these commands and the whole process on your system with even if you don't have a GPU, CPU should be good. And, but I would suggest that you should have at least 16 GB of memory. Now, the model which I will be using for this chatbot is this Blender bot from Facebook, which is a very small 400 mil model. And this actually is a good model for the chatbot if you are starting out. So let's get started. Let me go to my local system where I am running Ubuntu 22.04. I have one GPU but you can run it on CPU and my memory is 32 GB. Let me clear my screen. The first thing you need to do is to install transformers library. I already have it, but just for the sake of it, let's try to upgrade it. Let's wait. It is done. Let me clear my screen. And now let me fire up my Python interpreter. Now the first step we need to do is to import some of the libraries from that transformer. The most important one is this pipeline. This pipeline is probably the most easiest way to use models for inference in the chatbot. These pipelines are objects that abstract most of the complex code from the library and offer the simple API dedicated to several tasks. So you can use it for conversation, you can use it for audio, lot of other things. But because we are building a chatbot, so we will be only using it for the conversation. So let's also import the conversation library from hugging from this transformer that is done and now let's specify our model we are passing it to the pipeline and the task as i mentioned earlier is a conversational and now let's grab our model in order to grab the model go back to hugging face and simply copy this whole model name the facebook slash blender bot so just click on these th uh, copy model name to clipboard and then go back to your system and simply paste it here and that's all you need to do in terms of specifying the model and then close it here let's press enter and you can see that the model is being loaded here and the size is just 730 pack which is very very small if you have worked with this model so let's wait for it to Finish shouldn't take too long now. Almost there. That is done. And it is specifying the tokenizer because it is abstracting everything from you. You don't have to worry about downloading any other thing. So it is loading the model's weights now. So let's wait for it to finish. The mo model is loaded now. And now let's specify our prompt. So the user message, the message from us is that what should I cook for dinner? Let's make it part of the conversation by passing it to the conversation function. It is done. And now let's pass it to our chatbot. And let's wait. And you can ignore this warning for now. And then let's print out the conversation if you want print conversation so there you go so we have asked what should i cook for dinner and assistant has said chicken alfredo it is one of my favorite what do you like to cook and then you can carry on the conversation if you want to carry it on i will just ask it again I will add the message to the chat like this conversation.add message, but else do you suggest? And then conversation. And then print this conversation. And now it is saying that pasta is always a good choice. I like to make a lot of pasta dishes. And you see, it has remembered the previous discussion, so it is keeping the memory. Now let's add another message. I'm asking it, do you suggest any dessert after dinner? 
and let's add it to the chatbot. Let's wait for it to come back. And then let's print it. It is saying, I like desserts, but I don't make them often. What kind of desserts are you thinking of? So maybe you, we could say that uh, something very sweet and cold. Let's see. Let me print it here. Let's see what model select. Let's wait for it to come back. So it is saying that yeah that sounds good do you have any other desert recipe you like to share with me so you can keep your conversation so this is all happening manually on cli and of course you can build any sort of graphical user interface with it but if you don't you can use gradio library in order to build the interface you can use streamlit there are a lot of other options out there but you can already see that how easy it is to build these chatbots by using hugging face now that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it let me know um if you have any other ideas as how to build chatbots on this cli simpler than that share it in the comments if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching